Illinois football is tasked with not only taking on the number one team in the country, but doing so in one of the more difficult places to play in all of college football. The Illini's only game this season against a top 10 opponent, Penn State, who's now top five, is their only loss of the year. You can see why this would be a daunting task, but Illini players told me this morning they're actually excited about playing the top ranked team in the land and even happy that the Ducks took over the number one spot right before the orange and blue visit Eugene. I'm kind of glad they're number one. You know, a couple of people had to do some things, you know, for them to, you know, get to the number one team. And it's, it's pretty exciting to go play the number one team this Saturday. That's why you come play college football for, for chances like this. You know, honestly, coming to University of Illinois, I didn't think we'll have a chance to, you know, play against the number one team. You know, usually it's Alabama, you know, Georgia, uh, SEC team. So just having this opportunity, you know, just growing up as a kid, you, you dream of times like this. And then having the ability for me to be a leader of this team, knowing that, you know, I can help lead my team to success just by going out there and, and just showing what I could do. So it's very, very special. It's just a big opportunity for us to be able, you know, to be able to go out there, basically against the number one team in the country, and to be able to play, play against a great, talented team like Oregon, you know and just to show what we got and how hard we fight for, our, uh, for our, with our team. Of course, a challenge for the Illini is not letting the crowd affect that game too much. We saw it against the Nittany Lions. False starts. Illinois had to use timeouts when maybe they couldn't get a play call in. Not as high of an attendance number at Oregon, but a crowd that's expected to be perhaps just as loud. For your Illini Nation at Memorial Stadium, Glenn Kinley, WCIA 3 Sports.